Hello everybody, welcome to Statistics and Theory. This is Dr. Vahid Aryadus. In this video, I'm going to continue with uh, a regression analysis using categorical uh, independent variables. As I indicated in my previous videos, um, I have categorical variables, and in this case, uh, stream and gender are the two which I'm going to use in this analysis. I have some missing data here which are which are indicated by minus 999 which is okay because Jamovi recognizes minus 999 as an instance of uh, <coughs> of uh, missing values. So in this video I will uh, present how to incorporate two categorical variables into your regression analysis uh, stream and gender. Before that uh, as I discussed in previous videos, uh, it's important to get the, statist the descriptive statistics of these two variables. So let's get started. I am going to click on Explore, Exploration, Descriptive Statistics, and I will move um, Compare to the Variable side and Stream and Gender to the Split By. So in this case, and I'm going to change the uh, view of the table here so it will be easier to read and I will unclick missing and N because these pieces of data are not really necessary for this demonstration so here we have the statistics of our com com comprehension across the two uh, categorical variables levels which are stream and gender uh, for stream as an example for normal technical male uh, students who took the test, uh, we have a mean score of 1.85. On the other hand, the females in the in the same group, that's the group of normal technical stream, have a higher mean score, uh, which is equal to 2.01. And in the same way, you can compare uh, the scores of males and females in other levels of stream which are normal academic and express the interesting thing is that uh, the same pattern that we identified in previous videos is still emerging here meaning that uh, the express group has a higher mean score regardless of whether you are looking at the male scores or female scores uh, which is followed by the normal academic group uh, again regardless of whether uh, you are viewing male or female mean scores and finally followed by the normal technical group uh, which in this case has the lowest mean score across the other groups so this is the um, descriptive statistics and it gives us a sense of how our data is distributed and a uh, sense of the average values of each of those variables now I'm going to do a regression analysis and again let's recall that regression analysis on categorical data is pretty much similar to uh, an ANOVA test and in this case since I have two variables one of which has got two levels that's gender and the other one which has got three levels that is stream uh, we're looking at factorial ANOVA 3 by 2 um, um, which is uh, basically what my regression analysis is going to do. You can also incorporate the interaction term between stream and gender, but I will not discuss that in this video, uh, uh, just you know, for simplicity of the video. Uh, in the future, I will discuss that as well. Let's get started with the regression analysis. Click on regression, click on linear regression, and you end up here. Under this linear regression uh, column or section, we need to move uh, comprehension to the dependent variable box and move stream and gender at the same time, maybe, to the factors. Uh, as I explained in the previous uh, video, factors are categorical predictors or regressors of uh, the dependent variable, whereas covariates would be continuous variables which predict comprehension or other independent or other dependent variables in the analysis. In this video I'm not going to throw in a grammar and vocabulary which are actually uh, continuous variables. Um, that is the topic for another video, a follow-up video for sure. Alright, so our regression analysis seems to have encountered a 
technical glitch. I'm going to tell you how to address this glitch. Don't worry about it. Scroll down on the same side. Um, let's close this one and go to reference levels. In the reference levels, the stream has got three categories and I'm going to choose normal technical because as you recall normal technical has got the lowest mean score and I highly recommend that if you have separate or discrete categories like normal technical etc you set the lowest category in terms of the mean score as the reference level and I'm going to keep this uh, as as the default uh, for gender, well, this one is not a category at all because it's missing data, as I showed you before. So I got to choose either male or female. Again, as you recall, uh, f um, the male group has got a lower score in this case. So, um, m meaning that it has gotten, uh, it has been um, designa designated the uh, um, value of zero. And of course, this is nominal. But uh, since we want to keep our regression analysis accessible and understandable, it's a good idea to go with the lower category, even though zero is really a nominal. It could have been, a, you know, a one, and um, we could have chosen zero uh, representing female. So it doesn't matter. So let's choose male, and the regression analysis runs in this way. Uh, there are two tables, and I want to add another table which I've also discussed in the previous in a previous video um, and that table is the omnibus ANOVA which is analogous to the factorial ANOVA which we have discussed before. Now uh, I'm also going to remove R because uh, uh, it just adds on unnecessary information. The most important information for us to find out the uh, fit statistics or the, uh, the uh, appropriacy of our regression model for our data is R squared in this scenario. If you want to compare different models, then you would want to go for AIC or BIC and so on. And of course, I have discussed adjusted R squared in a previous video. I'll leave uh, those video links uh, in the uh, description section of this video. And if you like, please go through them and uh, refresh your memory if you have forgotten what these statistics are. So this is good enough for us and we can discuss the results of our linear regression in uh, reference to with reference to these three uh, tables. I have already copied and pasted these three tables into a uh, Microsoft Word document because it's interactive and we can talk about them. The first thing that we observe in uh, this model is that uh, we have an R square value of 0.216. The R squared value, if you recall, is um, is analogous to the effect size, and in in this case, it represents how well your model can um, emulate the variance in your data. So, in this case, uh, we can say that around 21.6 percent of the variance that is observed in your independent variable is explained. Uh, that, that's uh, excuse me. That's observed in your dependent variable is explained by, by your independent variables, the two independent variables which are stream and gender. Keep this in mind. I have also run a separate ANOVA test. It's really different from the omnibus ANOVA test. It's, it's quite different. It's just a real uh, regular factorial ANOVA, which is basically a three by two ANOVA. Uh, three represents the numbers of the stream level and two represents the numbers of gender. Now we, we want to compare the results of this ANOVA with the omnibus ANOVA test in the regression and you'll see that they are quite the same in, in this um, analysis. The first thing we want to look at is that the uh, sum of square values for stream and also for gender are exactly the same across the two ANOVA. Like I said, uh, um, they r return more or less the same results. So that's one, one good thing. Whenever the sum of squares are uh, the same, well, you could expect that uh, the mean square values are also the same, which is the case here both in the ANOVA and the regression output. And finally, the, of course, the p-values are also um, um, going to be the same. 
meaning that uh, this p-value is the same as this one, which is in both cases they are smaller than 0 0.001, which is exciting because it indicates that stream has a significant impact on uh, the dependent variable, which is comprehension in this case. The second p-value is also the same across the two. One more thing. This is the uh, partial eta squared, and in my previous videos I have discussed this in details. It simply means the effect size, the effect of the two independent variables, stream and gender, on your uh, dv or dependent variable. If you add these up, it adds up to 0 0.215, roughly uh, almost the same as uh, 0 0.216, which was the R squared value in our regression analysis. So this is good news. You see, this what I'm referring to is this one in this in this table. So let me uh, link this these two uh, uh, statistics. Uh, it's very obvious now that the R squared value in uh, the linear regression analysis is analogous to um, the partial eta squared, and the omnibus test is the same as the ANOVA test. Um, again, uh, this is evidence that uh, when we are running a regression analysis, we're actually, uh, if our uh, variables are categorical, we're actually doing an ANOVA. Or the other way around, you can put it the other way around and say when you are running a factorial ANOVA, in, in fact we're doing a regression analysis. The other table that is important, and we need to go through and spend some time on it, is the model coefficient. Um, and uh, uh, I'm going to um, explain this with ref reference to the descriptive statistics that we calculated. Uh, the first thing that we observe here is the intercept. Uh, the intercept is where the amount of uh, x is zero, and 